All right, everyone, welcome to Buckeye Bow Hunters. Today, I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing video of the Vortex Crossfires. So this package that I'm gonna be unboxing is what you get when you order the 2021 Vortex Crossfires. So a disclaimer before we start, I did open this already because I did this video only to discover I forgot to plug the mic in. So now I'm redoing it. So I tried to put everything back how it was originally when it came. So everything as you see should be how it comes whenever you buy it from the factory. So when you pull it out of the box, the glass pack is like this and the, it's wrapped with this little bag. Inside of this glass pack are the actual binoculars and they come wrapped in a bag like that as well. So these that I have right here are 10 by 50s. So they make these also in 8 by 42s, 10 by 42s, 10 by 50s, and 12 by 50s. I just felt like the 10 by 50s were the way to go for the things that we were doing. So first impressions are that it's a little bigger than what I thought and remembered from testing it at Cabela's, but still feels really solid, solid, solid build. It's got Vortex branding all over the place. One major, major in my opinion, design upgrade that they've done is instead of having the flaps that just flip down like this and often stay open about that much, they've designed this so that when you flip this off, it falls the full way away and doesn't just sit there and cover up your lens a little bit so that you can't see whatever you're trying to look at. So I think this is a huge design upgrade so that you get them, when they're on there, you just flip them and they go the full way down. You don't have them sticking halfway up like that and obstructing your vision. So then there's these eye covers as well. I think I'll be having these off most of the time, but it feels really solid in the hands. And one thing that I really like about these that you don't have with cheaper models of binoculars is the eye cup. You can spin this thing counterclockwise and it'll put them out. You can fiddle with these things to where it fits your eyes. And one thing that I noticed by just looking around, I mean, I'm looking at the barn wall 10 yards away and it is crystal clear. I can see every little detail in that wall with these binoculars. So one thing that I don't like about these as much as the Diamondback is the size is a little bit bigger and the top, when, if you want to put it back in the glass pack, you can't just set it in with the eye cups up and try to close it, it won't reach. So you always have to put the eye cups back down to their normal size in order to get the glass pack over. So overall, these binoculars seem very high quality. Vortex has a crazy industry leading, no questions asked warranty. Send it in if it's broken or damaged and they'll send you a replacement one for free. So that is something that's really, really good about Vortex. So what comes in this package is the Vortex Crossfire, the glass pack bino harness, straps for the glass pack bino harness, a neck strap that goes around your neck, a manual, and lens cleaning things. These will be really nice for if you're sitting in a blind or something, cold morning, get foggy, you fog up your lens, you can go wipe it off. I could th see these being very handy. The glass pack itself is mediocre quality. They normally go for about $30 when you buy them separately. It's got a zipper on the back if you want to keep tags or something in there. It's got two seemingly small side pockets. I don't really see much use for those because it looks like it'd be kind of hard to get something out of there. It pinches it pretty tight. And then of course the place to store your binoculars. It can be a bit noisy depending on how you have it. If you pull these things out of there, it can put out a bit of noise, but if you're careful, it shouldn't be too bad. So this neck strap comes like this. I already opened this up. These neck straps feel very good. They're, they're not gonna rub your neck raw if you're wearing them for a while. They feel like they're made of memory foam and they're not hard to put on. It goes right around your neck like this. You can hold your binoculars. It's a lot faster than needing to open up the glass pack. So one thing that I really, really like about these Vortex Crossfires that I noticed when I was comparing to cheaper $50 Bushnell binoculars from Cabela's is when you look, the image is crystal clear. You can adjust it so your eyes 
focus together. The Bushnell ones, you couldn't get your eyes to focus and in less than a minute, your eyes would be hurting. These you can look through for quite a while before your eyes actually hurt. And the image is crystal clear. So like I said earlier, these are 10 by 50s and the height is right about as big as my hand. But the 8x42s are obviously going to be a lot smaller than the 12x50s. So size is not consistent ac across all platforms, but these 10x50s are about the size of my hand. So as far as weight goes, these things are not just super chunky. It says on the box that they weigh 30 ounces, 30.4 ounces. So that's not too bad. I mean, about what you would expect for from a binocular of this class. These Vortex Crossfires run in that $130 to $170 range. Just depends on what exact specs you get with your binoculars. Well, that is gonna wrap up this week's video, guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We have some cool videos coming down the pike, including a homemade raft. That might be a couple months down the road yet, but my name is Adrian Sisman. You're watching Buckeye Bow Hunters. We will see you on the next video.